and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you guys remember, it was one of the previous videos uh, we did redo the rewiring for the fuel system. Uh, so we blew a fuse, I bought a new fuse as well. Uh, here's the new fuse. And then as well, we had that problem with the overflow bottle or the overflow tank where by the car gets too hot, um, it pushes out all of the water through the radiator. So this is one of the items that I've bought. I haven't opened it yet, so we will open it today. And then as well as another things that I've bought, I've bought some radiator flush for the radiator. So we'll also be flushing the radiator. And then as well, I bought some brand new antifreeze here in the corner. So we will make sure that we flush the engine completely, the radiator and the engine. And then as well as we will be um, installing the water overflow bottle and then as well as antifreeze but before I get started guys please do not forget, forget to hit the subscribe button thank you guys all right so first things first uh, I'm gonna open this uh, water overflow bottle that I bought I haven't opened it yet I don't even know what it looks like yet um, oh this support from gang R by the way um, it wasn't expensive at all, it was uh, including the, sh the transport, it was 700 bucks. I'm not sure guys what I get with this, so I've got the bottle itself. Here's a bottle that I've got. And then from there, um, seems like we've got bolts, bolts and clamps. And then we've got this piece of uh, pipe. I believe this is for the feed and the returns and things like that. And then with some cable ties. And here it seems like we've got a bracket of some kind. Okay, but we will be only using all of that. But I'm just going to take the things that we're going to use now. Just put it a bit closer. So here's the fuse that we need uh, for the ones that we blew for the fuel system. Um, and then we're going to probably flush the engine once. Once I think let's flush it twice. Let's see how bad it is first. And then as well as... Uh, we'll be using the antifreeze um, as well. And then I'm not going to use that pipe. I've got my own pipe that I want to use. I'm going to use this piece of blue um, pipe for my water overflow tank. It should fit, uh, it looks, yeah, just maybe heat it up a bit, put it in warm water, and then just plug it in, and then it should be uh, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, it's quite raining, even the dogs are complaining due to the rain. Um, so yeah, I think the only thing, few things I will be doing today is install the fuse, um, install the, um, water overflow bottle as well as flush the whole engine and the radiator and also install antifreeze unfortunately as well um, the rims the wheels all of those things also haven't been installed yet um, I still have to do I still have to do the polyurethane bushes um, and then from there I also still have to get bearings and get that, still have to get that shaft as well for the one side because I damaged it quite uh, bad when I tried to remove it so uh, yeah unfortunately we are still busy with that and I'm still busy making that video as well but as soon as I've got all the parts I will be reinstalling everything but anyway let's get started as you remembered we've done this whole uh, fuel setup wiring but now I couldn't run it due to the fuse um, being off, being blocked but now luckily for me I bought a new fuse so I could just install it in there just like that and then this one I can go and uh, put it back so I've got the fuse back installed let's just check if everything still works Okay, everything still seems fine. Battery level looks a bit low, 12.1 volts. 
I don't know if it will be enough to start the car, but we'll check it out now. Now it's time to install the um, water overflow bottle. Um, they say the best place to install it is as close to the radiator as possible. So we'll see where we can find space and where we're going to install it. Okay, so the only place, okay, I could have installed it here, but once again, it's for me, it's too far because I mean. This is where the bottle is, this, then it has to run all the way to the radiator that side. I just personally think it's too far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lean it a bit with the angle. And then maybe install it there just like that. Bit skew. I mean it should still be fine, still do its job. Um, maybe pick it up a bit and then from there just install it there. And then let it run all the way back into the radiator cap. So I think first things first, um, let's drill the holes and then put in our uh, log nuts and then we'll tighten it up and then we'll do uh, the plumbing for the bottle. Okay, so the way I'm gonna um, install that pipes is I'm gonna put warm water in this cup and then from there I'm going to take this one side, just keep it in there, let it soften up. And once that's done, this thing is soft enough to just be able to push it over. There you go. Now, as soon as this gets cold, it will be closing up and then be able to remove this will not be easy those two ports i will not be using them at all so i'll basically just blank them off by uh, taking this pipe all the way to this side and then that's going to be one pipe blanking it off and then this one i'm going to keep it open so if there's hot air or anything that wants to go out um, it can just go get out of here and then this pipe will go down um, to the radiator cap on top so yeah i'm going to cut it off I'm not sure if I'm going to run it around, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to blank it off here and then as well blank it off uh, with the, the other piece of the pipe for this side and then we'll carry on. now um, I've encountered only one problem uh, when I wanted to tighten it uh, that special allen keys um, this allen key of mine just doesn't fit in here but luckily for me this I've got the spare allen key so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut it like really short maybe up until there and then obviously it will be my special allen key for this types of situations now that I've got my small allen key all cut up, um, I can now use it and check if it works. If not, I have failed, but let's see. Oh, seems like it's working. So I'm going to tighten this all up and then we can go and start with the flush of the radiator. So before I get started with um, adding the, the radiator flush, um, I'm going to remove the thermostat first. So I'll be uh, opening up those one, two bolts. So then there's the thermostat. I'm going to remove the thermostat. Now I've got my thermostat removed. I think I must as well replace it. Um, it really looks quite old. I really think I need to replace it. But anyway... Now, I'm going to put this whole cap back. There we go. The whole cap, I'm putting it back. And then as soon as I'm 
I'm gonna put this whole cap back. So now that I've got that cap back, um, I'm gonna take my flush now, radiator flush. I'm just gonna throw it in here. I'm gonna throw in everything that I've got. So I'm gonna start the car now. Um, and then I'm gonna leave it idling until it reaches its temperature. And then uh, let's 80, uh, 80, 90 degrees. And then I'll be switching it off, letting it cool down. Okay, so now that I've got the water temperature up to optimal temperature, um, I will we'll be waiting for it just to cool down a bit because obviously that thing is full of compressed air. So I'll just wait a bit for it to cool down. So after waiting around 15 minutes, it has cooled down enough so I can actually um, remove the cap. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the next thing. There's a cap underneath um, the radiator that I, I'm going to loosen up to get all of the water out of the system by just removing the bolt underneath. So this is actually a really bad design for me. So yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Let me put my thing underneath here. Uh, I don't know there you can see there's the bolt. The reason why this is a bad design is because now when you're using your ratchet, and your extension and you're loosening up that bolt it means that that fluid that the chances may that it can get you might be really really good and if that water is boiling and it reaches you it's gonna be painful for sure but now yeah as you can see that's starting to leak but now like I've mentioned with my really really bad idea um, I have to remove the whole bolt to get rid of all of that water. But I have to say, this water doesn't feel that hot anymore. Um, but that's a really good thing. So now, I'd rather just go to the top. All the way here, just to be safe. And then I'd rather just remove this bolt from the bottom. And I have to say I can feel the water is getting really, really hot. But I'll just remove it like you would remove uh, an oil pan bolt. Okay, here goes all the water. So what I really want to do is I would like to look at the love to look at the color. I can see there's a lot of antifreeze that's in the car but now remember this is our first flush let's get all of that water out this is the first flush so after the second flush um oh well how it's gonna work now i'm gonna throw in the flush and then i'm gonna throw in water with the flush to fill it up all the all the way and then again we're gonna heat up the car and then once it's heat up heating up again it will be loosening the bolt let the uh, second flush go out then we're going to do like a third like a secondary type of flush we will be only putting in new water without anything else and then heat it up wait for it to heat up wait for it to cool down and then we will um drain it again and then throw our antifreeze so yeah let's put this bolt back well still running and if you can see that steam it's really 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 hot so i would not want to touch it here goes the second flush okay now we need to fill it up all the way with water so now just filling up the whole system with water until it's full 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 now that I've got it all filled up what I'm going to do now I'm going to start the car and then once I start the car I'm just going to keep an eye on the level here on the water um, the reason why we want to check that is because the, now we've trained all of the water out 
so now they might be air inside of the engine and that's the least thing that we that we want so you have air inside the system so we're going to start the car so now that the car is once again on optimal temperature remember i don't have the fans on the reason i don't have the fan on is that the car can become as hot as possible as soon as possible so now that it's on optimal temperature once again um i will be shutting it down and now that it's all shut down um, we're going to leave it again so it can just cool off a bit so that we can open the radiator cap as soon as we are able to open the radiator cap um, we can once again then drown the, the radiator flush that is inside of the whole system okay, so once again now that it's cooled down i can take the cap well i think so maybe maybe not okay so once again i can remove the cap remove the water fill it up with water start the car check the level fill it up fill it up and then once again we're gonna wait for it to reach the optimal temperature all right so now once again optimal temperature switch off wait to cool down once again when it's all cooled down time to remove the plug once again then bleed all the water out once again i don't know if you've noticed but the water that's coming out now is much 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 cleaner than what it's been before so that's why i say it uh, depends on how dirty your car is but sometimes um just uh flushing it two or three times is enough but if your car is like super bad then i would suggest maybe four or five times uh, whenever the water is like clean 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 but yeah so like i said you can even see it the water is much cleaner than what it have been before and yes guys it's still raining all the way um but I mean we have to be glad because I mean here yeah, there's people that pray for rain and I mean I know for some of us it's keeping us down a bit but I mean come on guys it's rain we can just be thankful for every every bit but yeah I can thank the Lord the whole day long but unfortunately we have to continue but I'll keep everything in prayer but let's carry on okay so now remember before we fill it up with antifreeze um we have to put in the the thermostat first back uh, we must put it back first before we can fill it up otherwise we're going to fill it up and then going to put it back we're going to spill most of the antifreeze that's already inside the system all right ladies and gentlemen uh I'm just, just, just in time to finishing up. Uh, even my camera is going to die now any, any, any second. So guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have, if, any, if there's anything that you saw in the video, please comment. If you've enjoyed watching it, please like. And then, uh, yeah, guys, for your support, I really do appreciate your support. So please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Have a lovely day further and God bless. Cheers. I can fly